All right. Hello, Vanderbilt students. I am Alex Rizzuto from the Career Center, and I've been conducting interviews with Vanderbilt upperclassmen so you can see, one, how they spend their summer, two, how they found the opportunity they did, and three, how you can get started doing the same. So today I have Tommy Oswald with me. Tommy is a senior studying communication studies and psychology with a minor in Spanish. Um, to get us started, Tommy, I know you had interned at Seacrest Studios last summer, correct? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Uh, so when did you start looking for internships and how did you learn about this one? So my, so I did this internship between my junior and senior year. Um, and so I began looking kind of the fall of my junior year. Um, I, at that time, I didn't exactly know what industry I wanted to go into post-grad. So I was just kind of looking more broadly for internships. Um, I had applied to a couple in financial services, um, a couple in the tech field. And then by the time the entertainment industry um, internships started coming around in the spring, um, that's kind of when I like honed in my search um, and I was able to find Secret Studios. Awesome. Cool, cool. And so was this a position you found on like doorways or another job board or through an event of some sort? Or So I believe the way I found it, it was either an email blast from the Career Center or it was an email blast from Communication Studies. Um, but it was in one of those email blasts that I found a link to the Seacrest Studios website. Oh, great. Well, that's cool. And what would you say was crucial in your acquisition of this internship? Mm -hmm. I think um, I think there were two things. One, I reached out to a different student on campus who had done the internship previously and kind of just asked for their advice um, going into the interview. Um, and then in addition to that, I think just kind of going into the interview, being like kind of my authentic self, especially in the entertainment industry, I think it's very important to kind of have, uh, be conversational, be casual mm -hmm. in the way that you present yourself and the way that you market yourself as well. Absolutely, that's a great advice for students too, to do the same. Um, what would you say a day in the life of this internship looked like? So <laughs> it's kind of hard because every day is completely different. Yeah. So for those who don't know, Secret Studios is actually a studio inside the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital. Um, and so every day they put on programming for the children in the hospital. And so that programming can look different every single day. Um, some days we'd be working with the Nashville Zoo and they'd have animals in the studio and we'd be interviewing zookeepers. Other days, one day we had the Jonas Brothers come in and we were interviewing the Jonas Brothers and playing a game with them. So like it could be almost anything. <laughs> Ah, oh, super cool, super cool. No, that sounds great. <laughs> what would you say was probably like your favorite part about the internship? Oh, I think my favorite part about it was how much autonomy I had as an intern in creating programming and coming up with ideas, pitching ideas. Um, so for example, um, during the summer, I was able to kind of like do this series um, of like programming kind of ideas with the other interns that were there as well as the two program kind of coordinators mm -hmm. that are in the studio. Um, it was kind of similar to like Hot Ones, if you've seen that on oh, YouTube. Huge fan, Sean Evans. So we kind of did a series like that where it was us trying really, really spicy food and recording it. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, so that's a favorite yeah. one, the Hot Ones. That, of that one was a fun one. At least, especially when I was the one watching it, not the one doing it. Yeah. <laughs> very valid. No, very true, very true. Um, now, do you happen to have a least favorite part of the internship or maybe something that you weren't as enthused about? Um, hmm. I think part of, one thing that's a little bit hard with the internship is that it can, there's kind of like a darker side I guess to it is because you are working at a children's hospital so there are a lot of families that are struggling a lot of children who are going through extremely difficult situations especially younger children um, and so kind of having to balance the positivity mm -hmm. with also like some of the seriousness and recognizing how like serious of a situation a lot of these people are in. Absolutely yeah I'm sure that can be a tough balance to strike sometimes whenever you're trying to provide the joint entertainment while at the same time recognizing the seriousness of and the severity of the situations around you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's a, a very insightful. Um, 
And I, I know with Seacrest Studios, it's tough because it, it's hard to pin Seacrest Studios into like a given industry. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's technically like the, the function of it is somewhat entertainment, um, mm -hmm. but it's in a hospital set setting. So it's almost like healthcare at the same time. And it's also kind of a nonprofit too. It's so kind it's kind of a nonprofit too. So <laughs> what, uh, maybe it's one of those industries, maybe it's all three. Was there anything in particular you learned about those industries uh, that was new to you or something that, uh, you thought was interesting? Um, I think I learned, I think I learned a little bit about all three kind of industries. I learned, at least from the entertainment industry side, um, how much more there is to entertainment industry than just being an artist, being like, being a manager, or like just what people typically think of when they think of entertainment industry. Um, but like that, the radio business is still something that while it's like definitely changing in this modern day of streaming services and stuff like that it's still very much um a core part of how the entertainment industry works um for the healthcare kind of part i learned more so like i learned i gained a better appreciation for healthcare workers mm -hmm. um during that internship i knew it kind of solidified my previous thought that i did not want to go into the healthcare industry <laughs> um so that was nice um and then for like the nonprofit side i think i learned a lot more um, just about how sometimes like tight knit nonprofits can be. Um, mm -hmm. So the head of um, the Ryan Seacrest Foundation, which is the organization that oversees all the Seacrest studios, um, the head of it is Ryan Seacrest's sister, Meredith Seacrest. And so I was even able to meet her like one on one. And I thought that was a really cool part of the experience as well. Great networking. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> um, and what, what sort of person do you think would do well in this position? Definitely someone who is unafraid to have conversations with anyone, whether it be a five-year-old to a celebrity to a balloon animal maker, whoever it is that comes in. Like you, you have to be ready to have a conversation and have it be playful yeah. too. Like, and I think that's a very important part of the role is having fun with what you do. Like sometimes you'll be interviewing. Uh, a local Nashville music artist and then there'll be a kid as well there helping with the interview and they'll say something completely offhand <laughs> and you just have to be ready to roll the punches and just continue the interview have it be fun laugh it off yeah no, that's <laughs> exciting yeah <laughs> truly every day is different especially if you're incorporating that into your interviews that's awesome yeah. um and what advice do you have for students who would be interested in going for a position like this I would say definitely do a little bit of background research, um, kind of understand what the mission of whatever company you're um, applying for is. And this is more broad advice as well. So for example, like Seacrest Studios, they're really big on kind of improving the healing process of patients by like providing this positive source mm -hmm. within hospitals. Um, and so kind of understanding the mission of the organization, I think will help you kind of gear yourself like in um, interviews or in applications to make sure that you're marketing yourself in a way that matches the organization's mission. Awesome. No, that's a great tip. Great tip. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us today, Tommy. Really appreciate having you on the, uh, the show here. Uh, thank you. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, until then, uh, everyone know that the Career Center is still here for you. You can still schedule coaching appointments and yeah, tune in to our next video uh, whenever it comes out. Yeah. Awesome. See you later. See ya. Have